Hey, everybody on YouTube. I have no idea how this video is going to come out because um, I can't see myself. So we'll see. If it works out, maybe I'll do this more so. Um, do more videos like these. I don't even know what time because <laughs> um, I want to upload these um, YouTube. Anyways, to get on the title of this video is Fear, Anger, Aggression. These are the paths to the dark side. You know, that's, uh, uh, that's a quote from Yoda in Empire Strikes Back um, to Luke. But there is much there is much truth in that. You know, um, it is a true statement. And truth is true and nothing else is true, right? And my soul recognizes it as truth. But anyways, the reason for this video is I just got done listening to uh, the Alex Jones channel on YouTube. Um, a lot of my internet viewing has to come from YouTube because that's the, uh, the best thing that comes out on this phone. Can't really watch any other type of video other than YouTube on this phone. But that's good because YouTube is probably the most popular video sharing site out there. Anyways, um, and there are others, but anyways, I was listening to his video. It's a three-part video entitled something like uh, 10 Reasons Why... Um, the Ben Loudon, um, the killing of Ben Loudon was a hoax. Now, he had recorded that video um, either on or before May 11th, 2011. At least that's what the uh, date says in YouTube. So it's like pretty much looking a month, you know, a month from that seeing what has happened and listening to other um, other media people. Um, and today being June 18th, 2011. So it's a little over a month. And there's been a lot of stuff in between May and June that had come out about that. But anyways, it got me wondering, okay, about Alex Jones, Rush Limbaugh, Hannity, and of course, the president and our own government. And the media. We can't forget the mass media. CNN and Fox, you know, and I think some with NPR. I haven't listened to NPR so much. I got to probably listen to more NPR just to kind of, you know, but just those media shows I've mentioned, they all use one thing. They use fear, and that fear incites emotions. And they're all telling us different things. Alex Jones telling us something different. Um, Rush Limbaugh and Hannity telling us something different. The president and all those in Congress are telling us something different. So we get like different stories by all of these people 
probably trying to confuse people for whatever reason. Maybe the simple reason is just, you know, there's nothing really major happening and, uh, you know, they need to continue with their shows. And the only way to continue with their shows is to draw people in. Well, a good way to draw people in, a good way to manipulate people is through the path to the dark side. Fear, anger, aggression. And all those things I mentioned have that. Um, you know, um, so I'm not saying that Obama's the greatest president, but maybe, well, he's probably still the worst since Jimmy Carter, but, you know, he probably didn't truly understand um, what was waiting for him in the Oval Office before he got elected. And when he got elected, I wonder what he thought. <laughs> um, and that's with all presidents. You know, I don't think they truly understand the office until they actually get in office. And then I just wonder what their impression would be of the big picture. Because they probably see a little bit more of the big picture. Anyways, I'm always trying to look for the big picture. And I'm always, I'm always looking for how people can manipulate me or other people. And, you know, that fear, anger, aggression, um, in the Star Wars movies alone, I mean, the first three, the prequels, one, two, three, it's shown how Senator Palpatine, a.k.a. Um, Emperor, in the uh, later ones, you know, became Emperor Palpatine, how he used Um, Anakin's fear to control him into you know what he wants and the president has used his fear you know he used his fear to pass his stimulus bills Hannity uses the fear to increase his ratings so too with Rush and Alex Jones. Got to do a little bit more research about NPR, but there's probably some fear in there too. So if all these people are like using fear, you know, to try and manipulate people, I think people should wake up to all these things, find out what's going on. You know, like, the uh, the media think, and this is CNN, Fox, Rush Limbaugh, Sean Hannity, and Alex Jones. None of them say, none of them tell you exactly what the bills are that are going through Congress. You know, what are the bills that are actually being passed in Congress? There's no media outlet in this country that is actually telling us what bills are being passed. I mean, the C-SPAN, but how many people really have cable? I mean, there is C-SPAN on the Internet. I haven't seen C-SPAN on YouTube. I think they could do something like that. I haven't seen a C-SPAN radio to make it easier for people to see what's going on in Congress, what bills are being passed, you know, the discussion there. Because it seems to me that if you're going to discuss the country and the state of the country, you got to know what the conversations are that are being um, talked about, had, on the uh, floors of the House and Senate in Congress. And that's just not in 
and that's not just in your state, but nationally. So, you know, I wish I had a bit more money to do something with that, you know, to kind of maybe bring that back in there. Definitely got to be doing some thinking on that, how that can be done. And I'm going to be looking for um, people who are going to try and do that because I believe that's what we need. And we also, and I also believe that people need to um, they need to think for themselves, and they need to follow the highest they know. To quote a uh, very spiritual teacher. Um, so, you know, and that's pretty much what I need to say, you know, because um, this country is a good country. You know, all of the major inventions came out of this country, and they came out of this country for a reason. You know, because um, those inventions could not have come out of the other countries, because they were still tied into like old ways of doing things. And look what's happening to them. Look what's happening to Europe and Greece and China. You know, those are the governments that you know. It's just got collapsing on itself, and we don't want to let that happen in this country the United States. But for that to happen, people have to use what God gave them, their mind to figure things out, and their soul to um, figure out what is the truth and what is false. So that's also another problem that we have not just in this country, but the world. And I suppose that's all I wanted to say in this um, YouTube video. I'm not sure how long it was, but I think I was under 15 minutes. If it looks good, I'll probably do more of these. So think on this. You know, think on this really tight. And I also encourage those others who are listening to this in another country, you know, think about what's happening here in the United States, you know, and what has happened or may be happening in your country. You know, do you have the freedom that you really should have to speak you know, to speak the truth, to speak, you know, to let the soul speak through you your truth. Anyways, I'm rambling. It's late at night. Thank you for listening to this video. Hopefully it came out good. Leave a comment below. Um, I will read them. And, uh... Stay creative in the magic of life. Thank you for listening.